Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 17th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Root of Guilt, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 10. The old system under the law of Moses was only a shadow, a dim preview of the good things to come, not the good things themselves. The sacrifices under that system were repeated again and again, year after year, but they were never able to provide perfect cleansing for those who came to worship. If they could have provided perfect cleansing, the sacrifices would have stopped, for the worshippers would have been purified once for all time, and their feelings of guilt would have disappeared. But instead, those sacrifices actually reminded them of their sins year after year. For it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Taking away sins is indeed a tricky business. We can hear the preacher say, In the name of Christ you are forgiven. And a nanosecond or two later, we're having the same thoughts and desires that got us into the dead of our evil in the first place. And the guilt starts a new cycle. Our base problem, sin nature, courtesy of Adam, makes us, as the hymn writer has it, prone to wander, and we can no longer imagine we are forgiven than jump over the moon. What's not so tricky is understanding this about me. Having spent the better part of eight decades in this human skin of a life examining the insides of Russell, knowing just how crumbly a human clay feet can be, and how permanently the scars of our sins can destroy our sense of peace, I have become acutely aware of how successfully guilt can rob us of everything powerfully good in our daily lives. The annual sacrifices at the temple could do nothing to assuage a guilty conscience. Something greater was required to get at the root of our guilt. Paul later described for the Jewish tribes of believers how Jesus' sacrifice was that something better to root out the assault our archenemy Lucifer makes on our vulnerable conscience. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 11 through 14. Under the old covenant, the priest stands and ministers before the altar day after day, offering the same sacrifices again and again, which can never take away sins. But our high priest offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins, good for all time. Then he sat down in the place of honor at God's right hand. There he waits until his enemies are humbled and made a footstool under his feet. For by that one offering he forever made perfect those who are being made holy. A careful reading of Paul's explanation offers a subtle but sure difference between a clear conscience and overwhelming unrest in the soul. It is the enemies of Christ that are destined for humbling punishment, not the friends. To be a friend of Jesus means trusting him. When we trust him with our future, our past is included in the forgiveness of all the sins we have done or ever will do. Jesus, the flawless friend, is the fulfillment of the title, Best Friend Forever. Proverbs chapter 18, a real friend sticks closer than a brother. For you today, somewhere during your walk with Christ, the enemy will whisper in your ear an accusation or two about stuff you shouldn't have done, or stuff you should have done but didn't, or maybe the desire for something evil that you just didn't get around to doing yet. Remind the serpent that when you repented of that sin, God forgave you, and God never lies. Apostle Paul wrote that too. Even if everyone else is a liar, God is true. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.